Hey guys, so today I do have my friend here, a yellow crocodile, at least I think it's a crocodile, and it looks like it's yellow. Uh, I have my S7 on my left side and my iPhone 6S with iOS 9.3 beta 7, I think it is, here on my right hand. Did I say left hand on the S7? I think so. So we do have a camera in both of these phones. Both have 12 megapixel cameras, uh, but the S7 should have a f1.7 aperture, which I think it, the lower it is, the better it should be, kind of. Uh, the iPhone has f2.2. Let's just do this very, very simple. Let's just open up the camera, have a look around. What are the differences? And uh, yeah, so let's just start off with the iPhone here. So we're gonna do this really, really simple. Let's fire up the camera. And Apple likes to make things easy. So you can see from this instance, you can see his full head. Uh, and we're gonna see if we can see more in uh, maybe the S7, if we have a more wider angle. Uh, but the UI very, very simple here. You used to have one tap to take photos. Uh, you have one tap up here to switch to HDR modes, which should be, I think it creates a little bit bigger pictures, but should sometimes make pictures look a bit better. Okay, so you have that. You also have a simple basic timer up there to, to count down. And what else? Use a simple flash changer as well. So let's just put flash on. Let's just turn off HDR. Flash on. Okay, so very, very simple UI there. Let's just go back again. I like how you can swipe back out. Uh, another very simple thing up here to change to front facing as well. And uh, I'm not gonna do that. And then you do have uh, these kind of like Instagram uh, filters here, which uh, can be a bit useful. Okay, so that's everything you do have in here. You also have a simple square mode, which I don't think many people are gonna use. A panorama mode if you wanna take large pictures. And um, you have the standard video mode here. And the cool thing is that they do have a slow motion video mode and so slow motion videos and also time lapse, which is I think also is kind of slower. Okay, so that is the iPhone. Let's uh, let's check out the S7 here. So if you fire up the S7 camera. The first thing I did notice when I fire up the S7 camera is I get a wider angle, a wider view here of what is going on. I can see the crocodile, what's going on around him. I have a little bit more space here. But other than that, I mean, we do have the standard uh, take a picture button and in the uh, record uh, thing here, but then we do have some other things. First off, we do have the same thing here as an iPhone. We have the HDR mode, so. I can also see that the, the colors on the screen is much more vibrant here, but it could be used because the AMOLED screen. Uh, you do have the standard flash as well that we did see on the iPhone. And we also do have the effects here, very, very similar to what we did see there also on the, uh, on the iPhone. Uh, but you can also download, it looks like here, more uh, more of those things, so that can be useful. Uh, I love this, how you can quickly change the picture size. If you don't wanna go 12 megapixel, if you wanna go smaller, it's just confusing how you do it on the iPhone. I think you go into settings, uh, but this is much easier when it's in instantly inside of the app, so you can go super, super small here, I guess. I'm just gonna turn off the flash. So this is 4.7 megapixels, seems like that's the, that's the uh, smallest you can go. And if we, yeah, I love this, how they have a settings app uh, or a settings button where you have a ton of things, like if you wanna have a grid, record a short video clip or what happens before each picture is taken, uh, focus on and track subject selection. There is, uh, you know, there is, you do have a little bit more options there, uh, which I definitely do enjoy. Uh, 
let's see here, shooting methods. Also, if you want to say take a picture and stuff like that, uh, that is very, very nice. A volume keys to take a picture as well. Uh, and then also how Sammy has a button down here uh, where you can go into a ton of more things where you can change the ISO, uh, the WB, you know, different uh, kind of effects here on the background. And um, is this like ISO or something? I mean, they have everything in here. Like they seriously have everything. So it, it definitely is nice if you just wanna go hardcore. Uh, changing things and this was just the pro mode panorama mode just as we did see on the iphone uh, but also panorama mode uh live broadcast i think you can stream to youtube virtual shots so you can go around and stuff i mean they really have so much more here that uh, definitely can be interesting also with a slow motion mode so that's very very nice our good little friend here he likes that Sweet and uh, food. <laughs> I love this. They have a food mode. Seriously, they have a food mode. If you take pictures on food, I guess it sh it can be better. Uh, this can be interesting. A video college. I think you know you take a few videos, and then it uh, kind of connects them some kind of oh yeah you get probably one full video uh, of the th or one full video with four small videos so that is definitely pretty pretty cool I mean it's just so much more options in here uh, which I gotta say personally is a little bit more fun uh, with the Galaxy S7 you can see here a ton of more modes and beauty face and stuff you can uh, instantly go and download for a better camera experience so I gotta say personally the S7 here compared to the iPhone seems to be a lot more fun. So quickly a video checking that out. Hope you enjoyed and uh, yeah, thanks crocodile and uh, have an awesome day. Or no, is this a crocodile? I think it's a dinosaur or something. But maybe crocodile and dinosaur kind of is the same thing. Uh, but yeah, have an awesome day.